Hi, welcome back. And in this week's roundup, um, we're going to start off by talking about Project Cars 3, because uh, it seems after my video the other day that uh, they finally decided to release some new info. So we got a trailer on the livery editor, um, which I must confess I'm actually reasonably impressed by. Um, it seems to be a nice compromise. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not a full-blown livery editor. You're not going to be creating anything um, GTS or Forza like with this at all it's closer to the one that's in um, f1 2020 where you pick a pattern and there seems to be a good range of patterns and we know that there's more coming with dlc and the pre-launch ignition pack um, you can then pick primary to secondary and tertiary colors off the back of it and um, add a load of um, both real and um, fake sponsor stickers on there so it seems like a reasonable compromise it should allow things to get put in place fairly quickly it's also news that from today live streamers are able to stream content so i know for a fact that jimmy broadbent's going to be doing his i would imagine quite a few other people are uh, but as i pay for my content i won't be amongst that list um so yeah that's uh, some Good news in regard to Project Cars uh, 3. Obviously, it launches next week, um, Friday for the main launch, and then three days earlier for the early access if you've ordered the... Um enhanced fancy edition which i've got so i'll be back with uh, first impressions of that early next week uh, moving then on to dirt rally 2.0 we had the news this week that the new world series events for both rally cross and um, rally are going to be starting again they start on the 25th of august so next week um, there is a new prize car for taking part in that so as long as you do at least one qualifying round in either rally or rally cross you will be gifted when it's released in early october with the uh, ford fiesta r5 mark ii and there was also a little update this week, update 1.15, which I put a separate video out earlier this week on, um, and that actually provided a new livery for the Mark I Fiesta R5, which is a um, Royal Air Force or British Air Force um, livery for that, which is quite a nice little bonus. Um, moving on to Dirt Rally 5, we had a photo mode trailer and the photo mode's actually looking very impressive uh, within Dirt 5, so there's quite a few options within there. Um, and uh, a lot to be done the good news is it will have things like um, focal distance the ability to set your aperture shutter speed etc from what we've been told so far so i'll link to that down below um, as well as the livery trailer for project cars 3 and all the details on the new world series events for uh, dirt rally 2.0 I'm also going to link down below to a trailer for something that at the moment is only heading to PC, but I really hope like it's previous titles it's going to come to console and that's art of rally um <clears throat> so these are the same guys who did um the um absolute zen drifting title which was a really nice minimalist but rock car drifting title which i'm rubbish at but really enjoy and think looks stunning and they're doing an art of rally one inspired off the back of that and the video is well worth checking out because some of the new things they put in there are absolutely awesome um like these little stick people spectators who get on the stage and then move out of the way as you come past and uh it, it's a combination of utterly brilliant and ludicrously cute so um, I strongly suggest you check that out, and I really, for myself, hope that ends up coming to console as well as PC. And then finally, to round things off, um, we've had a new Inside Ride 4 um, video put up, which is... Um, video four for ride four of this one and this covers the career mode so i'll link to the video down below but after the mess that was the career of ride three as i love ride three but the career is an absolute mess in it it really is it was a good idea badly implemented unfortunately now gone back to a more traditional approach where you start off in one of three regional leagues so asia europe or america um 
and once you've got through that stage where you know actually kind of grassroot racing you then move up to international and you then get up to the full-blown thing where you can go into a world super bikes league or world endurance bikes league and there'll also be invitational events um, as part of that as well single manufacturer stuff so that's shaping up quite nicely and well worth looking at it also adds that um qualification has been added to race events in ride four which is again awesome to see um because i think that will make a big difference it's the opposite approach to the one that project cars three is taking in particular because ride four will have both pit stops tire wear and fuel use and qualification all of which have funnily enough been taken out of project cars but there we go um and there's also a bit in there talking about the machine learning ai as well which was used to great effect and gave really good ai in um, the recent MotoGP titles so it'll be good to see that and interesting to see that in place as well so there we go that's the roundup as it stands uh, right now um, if you found this useful please do hit the like button if you want to um, see more content like this subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos get uploaded thanks very much for watching have a great weekend um, take care and thanks very much bye